Google for Startup Accelerator AI First Class 8 is positioned very well to in a way that we are able to contribute significantly for the acceleration of these startups. We started the whole thing back in December 2023 with a bootcamp, one week bootcamp that happened in our Bangalore office. And they've gone through a very intense process of you know, getting support on, on product, design, technology and growth, etc. Before GFS, uh, we were an uh, India dominating uh, platform. I would say you know, 90% of the revenues were coming from India. During the GFS, we understood the importance of going, going global, right? See, now uh, we, our product is live in 12 countries, uh, so close to 10-15% revenues comes from outside India. Very diverse set of problem statements all the way, ranging from ed tech to health tech to space tech using AI. We've got like 20 startups, AI first, graduating from this program. And the energy is amazing. I think everybody has an ambition. Everybody is looking forward to solving real world problems using AI. So Google uh, continues to invest a lot in these very, very powerful foundation models for AI. To solve a given problem, you no longer need to train an entirely new model from scratch. These foundation models give you a very, very powerful starting point to tackle that problem. We used uh, Gemini, we used uh, Vertex, and that has really helped us in shipping products, our products, faster and in a more efficient fashion. It's courageous of Google also to you know, uh, do programs like this, expose uh, startups to really test in the world of AI because things move so rapidly within AI. There are companies using AI for media. There are companies using AI for marketing. And uh, we really hope some of these companies are going to create large outcomes impacting consumers and investors alike. Almost every startup has achieved a lot in the process, whether it's identifying how to go to market, how to grow, how to find partnerships. And almost everyone has talked about the value that Google and the mentors have been able to create. So I think this has been an incredible value add for almost every startup that has been part of the program. This uh, event that I attended today uh, has been a wonderful event with, uh, which shows the, uh, you know, really the class, the quality of startups that are focusing on AI. We learned how to create our uh, a global GTM and lots of advice on how we should treat design as well as build our company people-wise. Being associated with Google, I consider that it started almost a decade ago. Um, so when I was in college, um, I participated in Google Summer of Code because I wanted to get started with open source. And finally now Kiploy is, uh, we're participating as an org. So uh, it's really exciting as well as hard on for us. We were able to execute a proof of concept with Google during the demo day. Uh, we were able to do the end-to-end -end post processing, which we have aimed for before we started uh, the program. We have been able to get connected with the DeepMind team, who are you know thought leaders in the space of protein. We see a fantastic crowd. Of course, we've met our fellow uh, cohort members before, but other than that, we see a very good uh, mix of investors, uh, thought leaders. Again, the panel discussion was great. Again, very relevant for our field. One of the many ways that Google helped us was to structure this crucial period as we start tapping into the market um, by creating a very um, in-depth, granular plan at the beginning of the program. It was exciting to actually meet with such uh, energetic founders who are using AI to solve very, very crucial problems on the world today. And um, I was also on the panel discussion where I had an opportunity to share my learnings over the last seven years of building an AI-based healthcare startup. may have come to an end, but our relationship definitely hasn't. Back in December, we all met for the first time as complete strangers at our boot camp in the Google office. Today, three months later, we've parted ways, but as very, very good friends, and we're really, really looking forward to their success. You should make yourself so strong, you should make yourself so capable, that it's not about what happens around you in the environment, 
but you define your own destiny. And that's my hope for these startups. And congratulations to all 20 startups who graduated from our class. And wishing you all the best and success for them. <laughs>